Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Anne and you're watching Art on the Creek. This is my home studio in Parker, Colorado. Welcome! If you've never been here before, this is a great place to be for all things art. So I'm glad you've tuned in today and if you're a return viewer, thank you. Welcome back. I have a fun surprise for us today. We're going to do a review and it all starts with some happy mail. So I have some paper happy mail, just a fun thing to share, and a package happy mail. This is where the review lies. Okay, you guys, let's get to it. Well, first things first, let's take a look at the fun happy mail that I got from one of my channel members. Kathy, thank you so much. Uh, Kathy is a fellow Colorado resident and artist, and uh, she sent a couple of cards my way, and I appreciate them all. Look how beautiful this is, you guys. She does these little cards with Tombow markers, and then it looks like she went over it with a gold gel pen. It is just beautiful and so bright and so vibrant. And it really cheered me up, these anemones. Thank you, Kathy, because I was having uh, some foot trouble <laughs> last week and I had to cancel a plein air event. So this was really came in very handy and it brightened my day. And I also have now some fun stickers to use for my journaling. So she gave me a little plant here and a couple of cute flowers. So these will be some inspiration for a future painting. And Kathy, thank you so much for your friendship and your support of my channel. I really appreciate it. Happy Mail is so fun, don't you think? So this one, this one will stay in my collection. I really enjoy that. Thank you so much. Moving onward to Graby. I bet you guys have heard of them before. They sent me this package. Uh, they asked me to review some markers for them. And I've reviewed some, uh, I'm grabbing a nut cutter here. I've reviewed some gravy products before and I can put a link up in the corner to that playlist and it will also be at the end of the video with the, with the little pop-ups there. Um, I like gravy. I think they're good. They, their watercolor paper is really nice. I like that a lot. These are something else though. These are acrylic markers. And as you can see, the box didn't quite survive the journey. So I'm just going to tear it. Let me just cut it here and see if I can get through because it looks like it was kind of a little, little worse for wear. But oh, there's quite a bit in here. Let's see what all we got. Oh, wow, you guys, this is, whoops, sorry, bumped the camera. This is going to be so fun. Let's open it up. Let's see what is in here. All right, so I know what this is, and those of you who have used markers before probably do too, but I'm gonna put that to the side and we'll talk about that in a minute. Let me open up the first one. Let's see what we have. Am I gonna need my cutter again? I just put it away. No, here we go. Oh, I'm excited. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? This is the set of acrylic markers, set of 28 acrylic markers with an extra fine tip. That's why I was so excited to do these because I've used acrylic markers before that have a brush tip. They're fun, they're great to do, but these have the little tiny tip. So you can use these on any surface, glass, ceramic, porcelain, wood, rubber, metal, fabric, stone, paper, and more. And that is so true. So this is only a 0.7 millimeter tip. We're going to open these up and explore these. So when you're working on some little fine areas in your drawing. Those will come in very handy. And let's see what else they sent. This is a swatch sheet on the back. Does this, that one I might have a swatch sheet on it, but this one, ooh, 36 dual tone markers brush tip. Okay, so there are two colors on each end and these have a brush tip. These are all water-based ink, non-toxic, UV resistant. We'll swatch them out. Same thing, multi-surface. This set has a brush tip. 
we will find out oh yeah there's more in here than just the markers um we'll find out how they dry if they dry matte or if they dry uh shiny my guess is matte what do you think i like the little case that they come in even if you don't keep your markers like this this is a really convenient little case with a handle and i do like to store my markers horizontally it just kind of helps prevent the ink from going from one side to the other and um oh these are so cool and uh i really want to keep the keep them easy to use ready to go all the time so i like to store them horizontally these two little trays that they have are really very nice so you see we have on one end for instance on this one there's gold and then black on the other end sure oh nice okay <laughs> they give you a swatch sheet in black and white so we can really have a lot of fun playing with these so for instance let's just take a quick peek here at the first one and then we'll get into the fine tip the extra fine tip ones but if we lift this out it says dual tone acrylic marker gravy brush tip and it has uh, quick drying water-based non-toxic not for children under three so that's kind of important uh, brush tip on both ends and we have a red and a pink on this first one and here are the number codes here so that you can uh, be sure you're putting the right one on the right swatch so 625 is going to go in the second square and 636 there we are 636 will go in the first square so let me just do these first two right here the thing i like about a brush tip for acrylic markers is no pumping no pumping is needed these are very nice they go down matte just like uh, all the other acrylic markers I've used. They dry very quickly. And they really are just a pleasure to use. They're pretty opaque too. That shows up on that black paper pretty well. So that's the red. Now let's try the pink. It's a nice pink. These two together would be great for valentine's day or poppies or any kind of stuffed animals that you want to draw flowers you can do all kinds of things i said stuffed animals because i just drew one last night so there you can see how they have a little bit of uh, thickness to them you can really see that on the white paper i think and no shine they do dry matte and on the black paper they look really good too so I will go ahead and swatch these out and then uh, we will come back and swatch the other ones. slowed down just a little bit for this last one here this is color number 605 Nevada I did notice that on two of the markers they are both named peanut brown one is color number 608 and the other is color 697 that's why we want to be sure and swatch these out so we can make sure which color number is associated with which marker well here we go let's look at the one in black first you can see they're all very matte really nice opacity on these 
Uh, the lines back and forth are much more visible on the black than they are on the white. That could be the, the difference in paper. This paper feels like it has a little bit of a coating on it, whereas this one doesn't. Um, but you know, you just go over a second coat and you're fine. I really like how opaque these are and how well they show up on black. And on the white, you can see that uh, everything really shows up. And this white will be fine to do highlights and things with. I really like the color range. I was just thinking all the things that you could paint with these when I was swatching them out. And I think you really are not limited at all. So these are the dual tip acrylic markers. I'm really pleased that Graby sent these replacement nibs. However, I have to be honest with you guys, I cannot find where they would work. Um, here's what happens. You have your, your nib, right? And these are the brush tip nibs. If you're coloring on a rock or decorating something with a really rough surface and it just really frays at the nib, you can use these replacement nibs. And let me get this open here and I can show you what they look like. Um, the only issue right now that I'm having is that these don't appear to be the brush tip nibs. The tweezers are very sturdy, easy to use. I have uh, swatched out, or excuse me, swapped out nibs on markers before and they're real easy to use but these have a bullet tip on one end and a chisel tip on the other and they're also very narrow um, i'm not entirely sure which markers these would go for they probably would work better in the 0.7 millimeter um, the other set however i will be honest with you guys i have not tested them i'm just really happy to have them because that is something that you can go through really easily when you're working with any kind of uh, a nib on a marker So now let's take a look, now that we've got these all swatched, let's set these aside and let's take a look at these, the fine points. These are packaged in a nice little wallet. And, oh, look at this. Check this out. They come with paper, assorted colors of paper. How fun is this? This is a huge treat for me. I'm a big fan of paper. I love all kinds of new paper. I like trying new papers. So let's see what this is. Very excited about this. If you are the type of person to do uh, Zen tangles or something like that, then this is a great, great option for you. 20 sheets here. And look at this. We have a swatch sheet all set out with the names of the pens in them. Ah, oh, white and black. Gravy. That's so thoughtful, thank you. And now we have this really nice paper. This feels very much like this swatch sheet paper here. They feel like they're pretty much the same thing. And it comes in a couple colors. We've got black, navy, lavender, a gray tone, and a white. And these are all just uh, easy tear out sheets. So let's do that. Let's tear out these, these two swatch sheets. This is really cool. I'm really excited about that. And let's get these guys all swatched. Okay, and these go by color names, it looks like. So let's see, I think I'm gonna turn this this way. And the first one, it says it goes olive, red and cerulean, navy, iris yeah okay so this is the bottom row to black and it starts over here with rose pink okay all right then let's do this this is olive and what are the instructions does it say on here oh guys we have to pump these Ooh, not very much though that was easy <laughs> all right olive
last one these certainly do not dry as fast as the others and there's a little bit of a sheen to them these aren't even dry over here yet um, and uh, the other ones dry really really quickly I love how there's very minimal pumping though to get them started that's really nice And when the ink initially comes out, it's almost like you're just spreading a puddle around instead of uh, the way a normal marker feels. So much ink comes out. And then by about this point, it's it feels pretty normal. The pack of replacement nibs is designed to work with these markers. And the nib that's in there is kind of a, a modified brush tip, I would say. And then the replacement nib has a chisel on one end and a bullet tip on the other end. So you really got all your bases covered with this little set. You really do want to clip them onto this plastic form that comes in here. Otherwise, this is so loose that they kind of get lost in there. And right now, I really want to keep them in order so that I know what's what. Because on the markers themselves, they don't say anywhere what the name of the color is. I'll just pull this first one out here. This is the rose pink. And the only way I know that is because that's where I swatched it based on the packaging. Um, nowhere on here does it say the color. So pretty close approximation though with the, with the lid um, on this one. But for instance, not on the cedar. Let me see if I can find that one. Yeah, here. This is the cedar, which is this one here. And the color inside the paint, of inside the, the case, of course, you can see. Um, but look how different these look on... The two different papers they they really do well, touching it they really do have a different look on white paper versus black paper and you can see there's a slight sheen so these are very different than the um, than the other ones we swatched out here but I really really like them I think they're a good tandem set to have in case you need to get into the any smaller spaces or if you like to do Zen tangles one of the things that I think that these would be so great and fun to use uh, would be for the Alphonse Mucha style drawings. I printed off several inspirations off of Pixabay. These are contributed by an artist named GDJ and I will link to their contributions uh, and I will put a link to all of these in the description. Um, but yeah, you can see all of these little nooks and crannies that are here plus a big area for complexion. So I thought what we could do is take one of these and see what we can come up with as far as blending and uh, and making some some fun art with these. Let's see here. Which one should we do? Um, I think I like her. I like the one on top. Because why not? Um, let's see. I want to get a bigger paper though. Let me do that. I have at the end a photo that I will put up. I did test the drawing pad that came with these narrow nib markers. Uh, it's 230 GSM, 110 pound, and it is really fun to use. This is their premium drawing pad. Uh, but today, what I want to use for this lady, since I wanted to keep the scale about the same, is this particular pad. It's an A4. It's a marker paper by B Paper Company. Oh, one more quick thing. Before we get into the sped up version, I just wanted to let you know what I'm using to draw first. Uh, this is a, a Karen Dash water soluble uh, watercolor pencil, and the color that we've got is uh, Carmine Lake. It's kind of a nice blue brown and I kind of wanted something that would work that I knew would be water soluble that could fade into the drawing and create some natural looking shadows if needed. Um, there were times when I questioned my choice, but I think in the end it all turned out okay. So now let's speed it up and we'll listen to some more nice music and see how these work in action.
here's where I want to just slow this down for a second. This is normal speed. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to do a little experiment here and this was kind of scary to do. I've got the pink that I'm using on the lips and I want to put it in her cheeks as well. However, the skin tone has already dried. So I'm noticing that it's just not blending in. So if this happens to you, you can catch it right away by just blotting it off with some water. After these are dry, I'm just going to kind of pick it up with a brush here and see if I can kind of loosen that pink. And it really does work well. I'm just uh, loosening up that unwanted uh, layer of pink there. And then I'll come in with a paper towel and blot it off. But if you're working on these and you get a layer on there that is not really what you want, that's all you have to do is get it wet right away. And then you can just come in and lift it right off. It works really well. <music> going to slow this down again and we're at real time here and what I'm going to show you is a really easy way to blend these colors. You can blend them, you can feather them, you can make ombres, you can do so much with these markers. Any kind of technique you can do with a regular marker you can really do with these as well. Um, and I really like how they look like gouache in the end. They're so neat. I'm going in with that pink layer for the blush in her cheeks over a wet layer of the of the pigment that I chose for her skin tone underneath and then blending it with my finger and it works absolutely perfectly so here we go in with that wet layer and we'll just cover up all of the the little unwanted marks from before on her cheek and then immediately I will add the pink just give her a little bit of color here and now I'll go in and just kind of blend it with my finger and you see it's just as simple as if you were using a very soft medium these are very lovely, very easy to use. And just by playing with them and finding out different techniques, you can really open your skills as an artist and learn all kinds of new things, have a whole bunch of fun. And really this set, both of these sets actually have such a great color range that makes them very portable and easy to take with you. And you don't have to worry about brushes or water or anything like that. So let's continue this drawing and see how it turned out. <laughs> Here she is ready for a signature, all finished. My version of this Mooka style uh, painting of a woman. 
done in the Graby brush tip dual tone acrylic markers and the Graby acrylic markers with the extra fine tip in some of the detail points. I've got a still picture coming up that will show you this one as well as what I did on their drawing pad. Really love that paper. Everything I've tried by Graby has been a win. Um, I will put some affiliate links in the description below in case you're curious. And if you are ever wondering about acrylic markers or what they can be used for, well, hopefully this has enticed you to maybe try some. Okay, guys, I hope everyone is doing well and we will see you next time. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs>